Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of House Flipper. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I am having a fantastic day. I think I want to bounce back and forth between houses that were in the game when we did Season 1 of House Flipper a long time ago, uh, and houses that have been added since then. Because I don't remember exactly what houses I've done in the first season, and I'm sure there will be some duplicates, and that's okay. The houses themselves will end up different once we're done with them. Uh, but today, I think I want to do this one, the one to move in. Uh, I think this is just an apartment. It doesn't actually have a yard or anything like that, uh, but it's a fairly small place. It's 114 square meters, which is like actually pretty good size, but not like ridiculously big. Uh, and it looks fairly decent, although some of the colors are definitely going to need some work. Let's go ahead and buy it and see what we're working with. Looks like it is, uh, one floor, six rooms. Yeah, there's a lot of clutter. There's a lot of color issues. Uh, <laughs> some of this stuff is just a little bit too colorful for me, but, uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay. So here is the place. Uh, there is just random trash out here that we can't really do anything with, uh, along with door. But like, this is the hallway that that enters. Uh, so yeah, this is the place. Let's uh, turn on the lights. So that's not actually this bad. Um, again, change some colors. Get rid of some trash. Then it looks like down this way, we've got a relatively small bathroom. Okay. We've got, I guess, just a closet. And then a fairly large bedroom. And another fairly decent bedroom. I'll probably knock out this wall, I think. Am I missing any rooms? I don't think so. We got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I guess the sixth room is the hallway, which we're not going to do anything with. Uh, okay. So, yeah, this is the place. Looks like uh, as far as cleanup goes, there's not going to be a ton. There's some dirt and some garbage and stuff, but nothing too crazy. Yeah, this, uh, this should be interesting. Well, first things first, got to get the place all cleaned up. Okay, I have the whole place cleaned up. I went ahead and swapped out the doors right away. So we've uh, got just a external like apartment door here. And then uh, everything else is this kind of, uh, wh which one is this? This is the Ayanua Ayan interior door. Uh, went with American Elm for all of the doors. So they're all the same. And then over for the closet, I put just a wardrobe door. If you can hear my dog barking in the background, she's very excited right now for some reason. Uh, but anyway, uh, so yeah, next step, now that everything's all cleaned out and the house is very empty, uh, is to choose colors. I think what we want to probably do is have a consistent hardwood floor in this whole area here and into the closet. Just one consistent pattern. And then I'm thinking the bedrooms will probably go carpet, 
the bathroom is probably fine. I'll probably just stick with that floor tile. And that should be good. Uh, I also left most of the lights. Uh, because I think they actually work. Like, the, the, the lights that we have are fine. Uh, and then I'm going to repaint a bunch of the rooms and stuff like that as well. So, yeah, let me get to it. Everything now has a fresh coat of paint. Went with beige out here in the living room. Also went with this uh, wooden floor uh, tile panel thing here, uh, which I quite like. Uh, goes into the closet as well. Uh, the bathroom, I went ahead and just finished. Painted it all white. Uh, I think I'm probably going to put some tiles up here. Well, I shouldn't say I finished the bathroom. I still want to do a few more things in here. But I did a little bit. We need a light in here. Did a mirror uh, and some things. But we'll come back to this. Uh, the bedrooms, I painted this one like a very deep red color. And went with beige carpets. And then the other bedroom... Again, beige carpets, and this is more of like a light brown uh, for the walls. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I went with beige out here. The thing is, uh, if you want to do wall tiles for the kitchen, if you want to do like a backsplash, uh, and you go with like, for example, I think these tiles. Yeah, uh, a lot of the tiles... You can do like a half and half where it's the tile pattern on the bottom and then a paint color on top. But the only options you have for most of them are white and beige gray. So unless I wanted to paint this whole thing white, uh, I kind of had to go with beige because I want to have a backsplash for the kitchen area, which we're going to put over here. Uh, so my options for paint colors were a bit limited. But I think we're ready to keep going. Uh, I think, you know what, let's go ahead and just do a little bit here in the bathroom. We don't have a lot in here that we actually need to do, so we'll go ahead and do it together. I'm just going to go ahead and throw one of these ceiling lamps up right there to give us a little bit of light. Um, we've already got towels. Probably need like a little uh, bathroom. Like, some sort of cabinet over here, I think, would be good. We don't actually have a whole lot of space, though. So, let's actually go for a specific one. I think it's... Is it not on this list? Um, I'm not seeing it. Okay, well, it's in bedroom. Uh, furniture, bedroom. Uh, I think it's under wardrobes. Here we go. Uh, this guy. This stylish chest of drawers is pretty thin and will fit perfectly right there. Uh, and then what we can do is go shelf and just grab something like this and throw that here in the shower probably lower that a bit though uh, or maybe not maybe it actually won't let me lower it much but we'll put it there that's fine that'll work and then we'll grab a very simple shelf. Uh, that doesn't come in white. I'm looking for something that comes in white. Um, maybe just something really simple like this. I don't like the black on that, though. Let's see what we can find. Uh, maybe something like this and make it white. Sure, that'll work. Okay, there we go. We have a bathroom, towel. Uh, we can probably go without a carpet in here. And then last but not least, let's just get a poster. Or actually, let's go with a painting. 
And we'll get one of these, like, small... How big is this? Eh, that's too big. We want to go smaller than that. Um, maybe something like this one. Perfect. We'll just throw that up there. Uh, maybe scoot it over just a teeny bit. Teeny bit more. There we go. That'll work. Okay, there we go. Our bathroom is done. So now I'm going to go ahead and work on probably the kitchen and living room area. This section out here. And then we'll take a look at it. Okay, I think the living room, kitchen area, that whole space is finished. So as you walk in, you've got the kitchen over here to your left. I think it turned out pretty well. I went with a nice kind of white sort of marbly tiled backsplash, which I think uh, is perfect. Doesn't stand out too much, but it gives you just enough little variation to uh, kind of pop a little bit. Went with these sort of dark wood uh, cabinets and countertops. I think this is Imbus is the name of it. Uh, this particular set, I think it worked. Went with stainless steel fridge and stove uh, with a little range hood. And then I used a few of these dividers uh, here to kind of divide off the kitchen area and over here to divide off this little office area, which we'll talk about in a minute. Uh, threw down a very small little table here for like a dining room table with a rug underneath uh, so that there's a little bit of a space for that. Then over here is the office space that I mentioned a second ago. And pretty straightforward, just kind of divided it up using these, uh, these bookshelves. Threw down a corner desk with a maple computer on it, little trash can, a couple random document things, a bookshelf over here with a bunch of books, a whiteboard, a painting, and a light. So it gives us this nice little office space. Oh, and the, the carpet right here as well to kind of further sort of separate that space a bit. But I like, uh, I like using these bookcases. This is actually quite cool. It helps you kind of divide the space, but still leave it feeling very open. Uh, which I quite like. So then over here, there's like a little corner with a sideboard, a plant, a coffee table. Uh, you know what? Let's actually just grab a book. Um, doesn't really matter. Sure, we'll go with this one. We'll just put that down here on the coffee table. Uh, painting and some things. This is sort of our living room space. So we just threw down a couch a carpet underneath and a coffee table with a TV stand and a TV, and then just a mirror up here to help fill that uh, wall space and keep it from feeling very empty. Over here, we have another little shelf with a couple of plants on either side. And then going down this hallway, we've got just a carpet, another painting, and in here, I threw down just a pantry shelf uh, to turn this into a little storeroom. So yeah, I think this turned out pretty nice. Uh, all of the wood is American Elm, I believe. Uh, and, except for the the kitchen cabinets and stuff, obviously. That's a different uh, wood tone. But all in all, I think it works pretty well. I really like the office space over here. Uh, and I like the way that... Uh, the, I mean, this is such a... Like, look at this. I, I would love to live here. It's just so nice. <laughs> Just gives you a lot of, uh, you know, open, has a very open feel to it, uh, but everything is kind of still in its own little space, and I think it works out really well. So uh, I think next is, let's do this bedroom first, I think. Yeah, we'll do this bedroom first. Let me get started on that. First bedroom is all finished, and I decided to keep it very simple, so... Uh, put in a, a sort of a, I think this is actually light gray, a little divider wall again to kind of separate this space over here. Uh, but then I just threw down a bed, a chest of drawers, a wardrobe, TV mounted on the wall, added in a radiator over here, and then just a, a couple of other small decorations, a mirror, a painting, uh, and another mirror over here. And that's basically all I did. I wanted to keep this room very clean, uh, kind of like you're almost like when you walk into a hotel room or something like that. Oh, and I added a blind, uh, but nothing crazy. So that takes care of that one. Now, as for this one over here, um, got some thinking to do. So I think first things first, let's do an 
installation for a vertical radiator. And let's plan to put that like right here. And we'll just grab this one. I'll just put it down. And these things you can install super, super, super quickly. So easy enough, get a radiator in here. And then for a bed, I think we probably want the bed to go like right here. So let's look at bedrooms, beds, and I think we're gonna have to go with a smaller bed for this one, like just a single bed. Could even do, like, will this fit here? Ooh, actually it totally will. That could be kind of nice, actually. Like a folding bed. Maybe this is like the guest room. Hmm, that's an interesting option. I'll think about that. Uh, but let's look at single beds again. And there are a number of them. Some of them uh, a little better than others, obviously. And some of them are very expensive. Maybe something like that, and then make the pillow white and the bed sheet. Maybe like dark gray or dark dark brown, maybe. Yeah, nope, not dark brown. <laughs> That's really ugly. Uh, let's just go gray for the bed sheet. There we go. So we, yeah, we could do maybe something like this. Put that there. It's not a very big bed but it is something. And then we can do a bedside cabinet next to it. Maybe this one, make the metal black, like so. We could probably even scoot this whole thing over a bit just to save a little bit of space. And then that gives us something we can do over here. Maybe we could put like a small chest of drawers there or something like that. We're gonna need a wardrobe and a proper dresser. So let's start with the wardrobes, I guess. Uh, get like a proper dresser here. Maybe this one. This is this matches the uh, the bedside table. It's not very big. Uh, that will fit there. Yeah, that's probably fine. We also need a curtain of some sort. So let's just keep that simple as well and go with this one. That's a little too medium width. Is this the right? No. Yeah, I guess we. I guess we have to go with the uh, the short light and just hope that it will end up being the right size. Oh, it does. Okay, cool. It naturally fits to the uh, the correct window size. So that's great. Okay, excellent. So this is fine, but we still have this space over here and this space over here. I think this would be a good spot to put in a couple of shelves. Uh, so let's just see. How big is that? That is too big. Uh, that was 150. So what about 100? That will work. Okay. So we're just going to put a few shelves in here. And I think I'm actually going to move this light to over here instead. And then we'll just fit in some shelves. I don't think those are perfectly spaced. I think this one maybe needs to come down just a teeny bit. That looks about right. And then maybe that one up. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we'll add in just a little bit of shelf space over here. That seems, if it's not exact, it's pretty close. And then we need to do something with this space here. And I think we'll just go with a bit more furniture. Uh, we could also throw in, like, a dressing table. That's an interesting idea. But I think I want to go with... 
Actually, no. I know what I want to put there. Bookcase. Uh, maybe oh, that's light colored. I want the wooden one. Oh, does that not come in wood? It doesn't. That's unfortunate. Uh, but it's okay, I guess. Maybe this one. How big is that? Yeah, that'll work. And then I can put, like, a plant here. I think that'll be fine. Uh, decorations, plants. Let's just grab... Um... Let's grab a small olive tree. No. That's not gonna do it. Uh, okay. Let's grab a small... Or maybe a large Sansevieria. Or Viera. I, I don't know how to pronounce this, okay? It, I'm not a plant expert. There we go. We'll do something like that. Now, we need an area rug for sure. Something simple. Um, maybe just like... No, that's too small. Um, maybe something like this could work. Yeah, that's pretty good size. Just put that like right there. Just to help sort of occupy that space. Uh, we could do something with this. Is there like a small bookshelf I could put there? Like this one, for example? Perfect. There we go. We can put that right there. And then I think another plant. Another standing plant. Um, let's go with maybe this one instead. How big is that? Yeah, that'll work. Sure. Put that right there. Okay. So there we go. We got a nice little bedroom. Let's uh, do a tiny bit of decorating here. We don't need to do a ton. But maybe some sort of, like, painting on the wall. Uh, preferably something relatively inexpensive, like maybe this. Just put that right here. Yeah, I think that'll do uh, quite nicely, actually. I think this turned out all right. It's a little barren in some spots, so maybe we add in just a couple more plants. Let's get, like, maybe a smaller one. How big is this? Uh, yeah, that'll actually work right there, I think. It's not huge, but it's not super small. And I think that's good. I don't really want to go too much bigger with that. We could maybe throw in just, like, a little chair. Like, let's go to furniture, living room, armchairs, and let's just find a nice, simple armchair. Cedar. See if we like any of these colors. Ah, uh, that's not terrible. There we go. That'll work. Let's put that right about there. Just to kind of have like a little uh, sort of reading area, I guess you would say. See if we can maybe scoot that over a little bit more. There we go. There. That seems pretty good. I think that is a nice little bedroom. And then I believe that with this bedroom done and this bedroom done, uh, we have finished the bathroom. I mean, it's a fairly, it's a much like cleaner house um, than some of the other ones I've done as far as like the number of things I've put down to sort of clutter everything up, but I think that's okay. I'm fairly happy with it. Uh, I think we're ready to go ahead and try and sell it. So let's just see. There's no yard because it's just an apartment building. Let's see what we can get for it. Looks like we spent a grand total of about 131000 well, we did get uh, 75 back. Okay, yeah, there we go. So, we're going to get 12 in profit. Let's see if we can maybe negotiate for another, like, three. 
I don't know exactly how much you can, like... I wish I knew exactly how the negotiation mechanics work, but I'm assuming that the lower increases are uh, a bit more along the lines. There we go. So we made 15,000 in profit. I accept your offer. And now we get some nice before and after pictures. Yeah. That turned out pretty well, I think. Not a great before and after picture for the bathroom, but kind of a weird camera angle. Still, though, I think that worked out pretty well. I'm fairly happy with that house. And I'm glad we were able to make a profit. I was a little concerned because that house was already pretty much, like, ready to go. I could have probably just cleaned it up and sold it and made more money, perhaps. <laughs> but hey, it's fine. Uh, anyway, though, guys, I think that is going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.